Hello, this is Keith All, and today's tutorial will be on um, how you can have a fixed image or fixed background image on your web page. And as you scroll up and down your web page, that image will stay fixed in its location. So here is a web page that I uh, just cr uh, created in HTML and CSS. And as you can see uh, from this web page, uh, I have like a header two t uh, header two up here. Now watch what happens when I scroll down the page. See the image in the background stays fixed. It doesn't scroll up with the rest of this stuff. And here's a section here. And then there's another background image. And as you can see, it stays fixed in its location. So let's uh, see how this is being done. So over here on my right is my HTML editor. editor and I'll show you. Uh, let's um, scroll over. Let's look at the index file. So it's a basic uh, index file. And all I'm doing here in the body tags is I have four divs. And each one is uh, either section one, section two, three, or four. And then I have another, like a subclass within there called box. So basically, section one just has this header uh, text right here, as you can see over here on the left. Uh, section two is specifically uh, uh, for a header one in a paragraph tag. So this is section two where I uh, uh, put a background color on this div and I have a header one tag and a paragraph tag. Section three again is just a, a header one here and section four is going to repeat what section two has which is a header one tag and a paragraph tag. And I, all I do is I change the color of the background of the div here. So let's go into the CSS file and see how this all, is all coming into uh, play here. So let's scroll up to the top. So basically, um, uh, I'm just doing... Uh, for the body or a reset, I'm uh, having a padding and barging of zero pixels and a box sizing um, set in a border box. So uh, as you recall, each div has a subclass called box. So basically, I'm creating a width of 100% of the uh, uh, screen size, height of 600 pixels for each uh, section the padding I set here in the background color is going to be white now of course you're not going to see that because uh, we have background images and I'm setting the text align the center so uh, the section one class the height is going to be 100 viewport heights and if you recall, in a HTML file, section one just has a H1 tag, which is what you got here, this H1 uh, header here, or, um, with the, holding the text. Now, section two, well, let's go back to section one. I have this background image, to, as you see here, and um, this is the key right here. The property background dash attachment, I set it to fixed. So if I exclude this, watch what happens. I'm going to refresh this, si this side here. So it takes effect. Now watch what happens when I scroll down the page. See the image is now moving with the page. It's not staying in one place. So if I put that 
property back in there. Let's refresh the page. Now watch what happens. See now the image stays in one spot. It doesn't scroll up or down the page as you move. So that's a key property right there to get that effect here. So section two now, uh, which is right here, this is section two. This background color is set to this uh, um, uh, hexadecimal value. And of course, uh, section two, again, I'm styling the sections down here. So we have a subclass within that class called box. And the paragraphs are styled like this, where I have the font size and a margin top, uh, basically 100 pixels. That's the margin from top, uh, from uh, the top of the div down. And uh, or actually, the, this is the paragraph. I'm sorry. The paragraph is uh, font size is 20 pixels and the margin top is um, 100 pixels down. Now the H1 tag within this section is being styled like this. I have a 50 pixels font size and I put a text shadow property on this with a, um, a text color of, of white. So um, the section three and section four just kind of repeats what section one and section two does. Uh, section three has a different background image and it's set the property background attachment is set to fix as you can see here. So I hope uh, this tutorial was very helpful for you today, help you understand how uh, when you scroll up and down a page and if you don't see a, um, a background image scroll up and down with it uh, uh, remember this property background dash attachment equal uh, basically set to fixed so again thank you for stopping by um, I'll be putting up more tutorials for HTML and CSS and look for those in the future. Please subscribe to my channel and uh, uh, hit the bell notification so every time I upload a new video, you'll be notified of it. Uh, again, I, um, I'm a web developer and I like to put out tutorials that are going to help this community uh, become better at what they do. Again, thank you for stopping by and I'll see you the next time. Bye now.